Hi guys, this is Laura from Hedgehog's Homestead. Today I went to the grocery store and this is what I found. Show shelves emptying out. Bacon, lunch meats, cheeses. Things thinning out everywhere. I was really surprised because in the Portland metro area, we haven't had a problem until now. All the freezer foods and quick fixings are gone. This is a store, this is Fred Meyers in Fairview, Oregon, and you don't see this here. I mean, a couple boxes pushed to the front and nothing behind them. The ice cream wasn't too bad. Better grab the Klondike bars while they're still there. Pies are thinning out. I don't usually shop in these aisles, but after I saw, I was there to get cheese and, and lunch meat, and when I went into that section, I thought I'd better look around the store. If you want uh, waffles, not very many Ego waffles left. Hot pockets and convenience food for your kids are thinning out. Pizzas are really thin. And the orange juice, well, you can see for yourself, getting really thin. This was the scariest section, the dairy aisle. My husband's like, why didn't you get this certain kind of uh, milk that we like to get because it lasts longer and they didn't have it. That's why. <laughs> so. They had plenty of alcohol. That wasn't cleaned out. So I guess that gives me hope that people aren't drinking too much. <laughs> I just thought I'd see if there was, but there's your Lunchables and your cheese section. Very little. Bacon's almost totally gone. Unless you want thick cut. And then there's your other lunch meats. Even I got my husband some deli lunch meat and that was really thin over there too. I didn't think about filming then, um, but, so I gotta go get my cheese over here, which isn't too bad, but this cheese area is usually overflowing. And you can see the buy one get one free sales. So not too bad in the cheese area. The yogurt's looking kind of thin all over the place. Um, oh, sorry, I'm waving around the camera so quickly. The freezer section is looking thin. Um, as you can see there. There's your half healthy, in quotations, food, uh, freezer food, and it's very thin.
Nothing behind there. Ice cream doesn't... Oh, I think we've seen this one. These little blue little stickers you see everywhere, they say, sorry, we're, re we're out of inventory, we'll get it in, we stop as soon as possible. getting kind of low. I don't usually ever see it like this unless it's the holidays, you know, when there's, they're understaffed or something like that. But this is pretty darn low for us here. stuff is almost all gone. That's crazy. Any kind of snacky kind of food for kids is all gone. Like, you know, really, really good. Here's our yogurt aisle. Pretty, pretty low. I'm surprised to see the Tillamook products. I mean, Tillamook's from Oregon, so it's really surprising to see the Tillamook products really low. Well. Cereal is really, really low over here. Or empty. The little blue stickers. Temporary, out of stock. Unavailable, I should say. box cereals seem to be stacked pretty well. Too bad. Coffee's getting kind of thin. Look at this here. Got them behind it. I think it's funny how they make it look full. But, you know, that's, that's their job. That's what they have to do when they're stocking. And sometimes if you look close, you can see that there's nothing behind. All the oatmeal is really low. food. It's not Christmas and there's no sweet potatoes. Flour seems to be okay. I have a bunch of this at home so I'm not too worried about flour. I stocked up recently. And my sugar. They have some canning supplies but the vinegar is kind of low. The oils are kind of low. you know, canned uh, fruit. 
seems to be on the lower side or empty. They will restock as soon as the product's available. I think that's what it says. Yes. Really low on, you know, your, your milk products as well. Your rice and your cheap fixings, you know, your cheap food that you would grab and stock up on. Really, really low. Low on pasta. It's a good thing I know how to make pasta and I got plenty of flour. Plenty of eggs. Mac and cheese, you better grab it while it's, while it's here because it's going, going. To the right of me was the sugar, and I didn't show it very good, but that was really low. Top ramen's kind of low. Salsa's great. Canned soup. Looking a little thin. Stock seems to be okay. Tortillas are low, thin. Those are always kind of a little thin in our store for some reason. Now the toilet paper aisle, this is paper towel right here and some of the products are unavailable. This is all the paper towels that nobody wants. The Kirkland brand. You've got your toilet paper up here. This is still paper towels. Looking really thin for our store. Limitations on how many you can get. Not going to lie, I bought some toilet paper. Even though we don't need it. <laughs> yep, this looks good. I'll just take this right here. We are well stocked up, but you know, you never know how long it's going to be. Oh, you better not want uh, paper plates because they will soon be gone. Limitations. They're on sale. You can get three for a dollar. Oh, but you can't buy three. <laughs> you can only buy three. Let's go see what's going on in the animal aisle. Cat litter is really thin. Really thin. I have to put dirt in the box, I guess. I don't have any cats. Hopefully this doesn't affect our chewy order because that's what we order from. The cat food is really low. And they don't know when it's coming. That's a little scary. All the treats are really low. Did you see the single row of Tide back there? It was just one row. It wasn't like they had a bunch of it on the shelf. Low on bleach. But usually these are really well stocked usually. The other products don't to seem to be that bad. But if you look closely, sometimes they're single rows. Like, look, 
this tight over here. Just a single row and get the pods. The Swiffers are kind of low and you know the, the good cleaning supplies are really on the low side. Diapers are really low and pull-ups and then over here this is formula. and Pedialyte really on the low side so I grabbed some because um, this is good for adults and children so if you get somebody sick in the house I didn't grab enough though I should have grabbed a lot more because if you're throwing up like crazy Pedialyte for adults works too and it works better than uh, Gatorade Um, they did have baby food, but baby formula was really low, and that's, that's scary business right there, guys. I'm sorry I didn't get a better picture of that. Kind of shy about uh, filming in a store. <laughs> Pet supplies, of course, all over the place. Pet supplies is low, guys. Dog food is a low. I forgot to go down this aisle earlier. And over there, it's really low. Sorry about the inconvenience. So yay, I got some toilet paper, <laughs> as you can see here. So now I'm just trying to get out of the store. Thought I'd show you guys the Lunchables again. Freezer section's low. Chip section. This is in the health food area. And I guess this is health food, healthier food area, I guess. Nuts are really low. This is our vegetable area, really low on salad fixings and healthier juices in the health food area. Your organic egg section. Totally empty. Couple left. Your organic pops and juices and you know all the organic milks there they have some at least. And this is your regular egg section. Um, I should have went to the vitamin aisle to see what they had there. Uh, your deodorants, kind of low on. And ladies supplies, shaving razors, really low on shampoos and stuff. Um, feminine products, low on those as well. This section's really, really low on hair dryers and things, which is odd. Um, sh shampoo doesn't seem too bad unless you get over to the stuff that people really like. They seem to be out of stock on quite a few items. Got to get myself a couple products in here.
but the sh cheaper shampoos don't to be if it's really cheap cheap then it seems to be running low but if it's really expensive it seems to be running low the middle uh, you know not too bad the middle priced uh, stuff the baby shampoos and stuff like that seem to be running low but this is the the shampoo area that where it's a little more expensive stuff seems to be really really low I love this tea tree shampoo and it's really low on all of this product products up here toothpaste is pretty low Listerine is pretty low and then of course uh, people are stocking up on band-aids and all that fun stuff because that is on the low side as well motor oil seems to be there not too bad in this area now this section is usually overrun with Halloween or Christmas. This is a section that they put all that holiday stuff in. It's really low. All right, you guys, thank you for watching today. Please like and subscribe and have a wonderful day.